Hello once again everyone and welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. So let's see, it's been a little while since I've played this, but I did do that um, preview ep sorry, uh, summary episode a couple of days ago. Oh, that's a good start, isn't it? So, I'm hopefully not going to be too confused over what I'm doing in, in this at the moment, uh, uh, what I'm doing in the game. Let's pick that up so we get past. Right, so what the thing I decided I wanted to do next was get proper construction bots and then hopefully logistics bots up and running because those are, those will make build all these buildings and everything I'm doing far easier because I won't have to faff around with trying to get all of the little bits and pieces into my inventory and then I don't need to worry quite so much about parking my construction vehicle in the right area to do all the building and that sort of thing so it should make everything much much easier the first thing so I think since I've got this bus going on, I'm going to carry on building off the bus. I think that makes sense. Maybe I'll do it off... off no, I'll do it off the left-hand side. Because as I remember, as, as you'll see from this diagram, construct, uh, building these construction bots actually takes quite a lot of electronics components. So since I'm already building them up here... Here we go, what we've got here? We've got, um, yeah, we've got resistors and transistors here. Or they FET, I'm not sure. What, are, what does it think they are? Transistors, okay, fair enough. Uh, so we've got those coming out here, and solder as well, which I, yes, which I also need. So I think having that is going to make the um, construction of the bot brains much, much easier. So I'll pull these on downwards and probably block the uh, the red belts from coming through. And uh, yeah, so that from that, that's, that's a significant proportion of the um, components I need already done, so that'll make things a little bit easier. Then after that, it's mostly things that are on the bus. I'm going to need sulfuric acid, that's going to be tricky. I'm going to need the lube, that needs to be piped down somehow. Circuits are on the bus. Yeah, I think this is probably all reasonably manageable. So, let's have a look. Let's see where we can go. What's that on the belt over here? Some random stones. Pick that up. Okay, so I think one of the first things I want to do is extend the bus down quite a long way. So what I'm going to do is copy a chunk of it like that and then just get the bots to do the hard work. At least that's the plan. It looks like I'm out of yellow belts though. <laughs> How am I out of yellow belt? I am actually. Okay. I'm gonna go and pick some of them up. Where's my car? One of the things I'm going to try and do with this, um, with the playthrough as I get, get a bit further into it now, is learn to talk a bit more about about the general higher level of what's going on around in, in the um, in the in the game, because it's it has occurred to me that if I do, if I, if I talk about the very specifics of what I'm doing, it just makes editing very very difficult. Whereas if I talk about things a bit more vaguely, then I, I can just uh, speed the video up and generally keep things more or less in sync. But I don't have to worry about the very very specifics of it. So that's that going nicely now. Okay, so building bots. First thing, let's do the let's do the bot brains first. So, if I'm building construction bots, I'm going to need these. <clears throat> and as I was saying, that's basically. In fact, that is these four items: solder, electronic components, transistors, and circuit boards. Excellent. That's going to make that much much easier. So, if I bring them down here a bit, and I can even build these in an electronics assembly machine. That's even better. So, let's have. Oh, I don't know. Three of them, should we say, to start with. The next component, let's do those grabby things. That appears to be entirely steel, which is this one. And those appear to be made out of steel gears. And then we just have the grabby things. Right, and we then need electric engines. That's a bit trickier. I'm going to do it a little bit further down. That mostly requires iron. I think a basic engine... As far as I remember, let's see how much of this I can do from memory before I go crazy. I think an engine requires... Um, oh, okay, steel as well. Gear, pipe and steel. So not that one. But if I put a long-handled one in there, I can do that. That needs to then feed into a machine that's making electric motors. That's a bit harder, because those require lube. <clears throat> and I haven't got lube on the bus yet, so 
We're pro I'm probably just going to put it straight on as another thing on the bus, TM. But obviously in pipes rather than on a conveyor belt. I could barrel it up, I suppose, but I think at this stage at least, I don't think it's worth dealing with the hassle that is barreling. Barrels are kind of complicated because you have to um, essentially run them. You have to run a supply of barrels from. You have to you have to run the barrel. You have to make the barrels. Then you have to put stuff in the barrels, whatever it is you're wanting to transport around, and then unbarrel it at the other end. Now that part isn't too bad. That's just like having. Oh, we're running out. Of, yes, I've run out of underground pipes. Um, that isn't too bad. It's just like having um, any other product on belts. But you then have to worry about getting the empty barrels back to the um, the filling station, and you have to make sure that you keep the right number of barrels in sort of what's the word term I'm looking for in in rotation. And that works both ways. You have to make sure you don't have too many, and that you don't have too few. So keeping barrels happy is quite is a quite a complicated process. So I'm going to avoid that for now by just using the pipes. This is going to this station is going to eventually just be uh, for lube anyway, so I'm not too bothered about destroying the the way the loading system works because it's going to be entirely replaced. Pumps and so on and such like. Oh. We've got to the point where the um oh goodness sake <laughs> where the uh, mines are starting to dry up on the, around the edges of the patch, so it's easy enough to prune up the no longer in use ones as I go past. Right. Uh, oh, I missed some corner bits. But basically, that's the, um, the piping done. Where's the corner? There's the corner. Okay. That, oh, and I need electronic circuits as well. Those I do have. That's one of these two, and I don't really care which. Uh, I want that to come across here. Now this isn't a particularly good design, I'm aware, <clears throat> because I haven't balanced it between all the different components that are being produced. I think at the moment, I want to say I'm just sort of doing it as a, a sketch. To be honest, I'm not sure that's entirely honest. I think I might just be being lazy and not doing it properly. However, I guess what I'll do from here is put a belt coming down. I, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll completely redesign this bit when I when, once once everything's working and I decide I want to have a bit more. A bit more throughput of all of these things being made. Okay, so that's the grabbers, the brains, the motors. Now I need batteries. Now, I'm building batteries somewhere else, aren't I? I think it's over here. I'm doing some furic acid here. Is that the right sort of battery? I think, yeah, it must be. Surely there's only one sort of battery. But I'm short of sulphur for this because I'm not using plastic. Oh, dear. Or is it because I'm not shipping plastic? Let's go over there and have a look. I might be going to need to look into other ways of producing plastic. Uh, no, sulphur. The funny thing is, I wasn't really expecting um, sulphur to be a problem. I was expecting plastic to be the, the the thing that I used most of around around here, and therefore the thing that I worried about running out the most. What have we got here? So, oh, oh, we're out of lead. Right, that's interesting. So I've got iron and steel here. This needs this needs plastic and it needs lead and it needs sulfuric acid. So sulfur production has dried up because sulfuric wastewater coming through from here is dried up, which is dried up because the plastic is absolutely full and I'm not demanding it anywhere. Hmm. I'm producing sulfuric wastewater down here as well, but that's required for this sulfuric acid here to keep this running. And I believe this is basically a closed loop. Yeah, that's essentially empty. And that hasn't overflowed yet. And I think it's been at 22,000 for basically forever. So I can't pull sulfuric acid from here. This is, this, this is, this is a closed loop system. I, I, I shouldn't touch it because it's it's working. And if I pull, start pulling from it, it'll it'll dry up. Um, I can't get more from here unless I start using the plastic somewhere. Now, I am going to be using plastic in the production of these bot things, but I'm also going to be using sulf sulfuric acid in the form of batteries. So that doesn't really help. Okay, where else can I get sulfur from? Remember to misspell sulfur. Or, sul or sulfuric acid, I suppose. Alright, let's see sulfur. So sulfur comes from sulfuric wastewater, 
hydrogen sulfide gas, which comes from coal. Mm -hmm. so maybe I would need some research for that. <coughs> um, that seems a bit complicated. Sulfuric acid. Is that one? That comes sulfur dioxide gas, which is presumably what I'm doing down. Yeah, which is what I'm doing down there. Which is sulfur and oxygen. Well, there's actually there's loads of ways to make this. So is that being produced? Where am I making lead? Oh, I remember thinking about this ages ago. What did I do with it all? Please tell me I didn't just vent it. Went into these pipes. Ah. So I've got some sulfuric acid here. That seems... How far is that? <laughs> it's quite a long way, but... I mean, I could run that down and put it onto the, um, onto the rest of the bus. That's not a bad idea. Especially if this is something that is being produced with lead, which is used for batteries. Although it's plates as opposed to ingots. That seems quite potentially useful. Okay, we'll remember that. That I'm not doing. That is how I'm getting it at the moment from the sulphur that's produced from sulfuric wastewater. That looks like another way to produce lime. That's possibly useful, but I need the calcium sulphate. Not really doing these. Okay, I think this one is probably the best one for now because this is there's about sixteen thousand there, which is a fair amount. Let's go and oh, it's actually needed here, isn't it? So this is where I'm making batteries. That's now that's rubbish. Let's not make batteries here. Let's save this for for making turrets because I've got that sort of assembled in place here for now. I'll probably move that later and have turrets being made on the bus once I've got sulfuric acid there properly. I'm just driving the railway lines. I'm going to redo those pipes because I am going to drive into that if I don't. Let's pick up some more normal pipes rather than as opposed to underground pipes before I go up there because I've got like three left. And I've got a thing down here somewhere that makes them. In ridiculous quantities apparently. Okay. Actually let's get rid of a few of them. Gets more underground. That's better. So many trees. Oh, I don't have any grenades. Oh well. Might be able to do this from here. This is just what I need. A chance to show off how good I am at drawing straight lines with the mouse. This is easy mode, of course. Except the trees are in the way. Not between the lines. There we go. Now what I'm going to do here is bring it across to the other side of the bus like this. <laughs> I always try to. There isn't a nice way to get through this. What I'd love to do... Hmm, my iron production doesn't seem to be fast enough at the moment, which could be at least partly because I'm doing all of this um, pipe work, which is obviously very, very iron heavy. And I went off and grabbed loads of belts. So I think somewhere fairly high up on my priority list is going to have to be making iron making iron more quickly because at the moment it's just not going to keep up oh something's not reached oh, I screwed it up there by that rock great there we go i'm pro i'm wondering if i'm going to need some pumps in here because this is a very very long pipe but hopefully i won't need particularly enormous amounts of of acid down here. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Right, so we need lead. But I don't want to use lead plates, which is these ones. I want to use the lead ingots, because lead plates are being made from... Ah oh yes, lead plates are being made like this, which doesn't produce the sulfuric, uh, sulfur dioxide that I need for the, for the acid. So actually I want to go up here, rip this out, and replace it with something that pulls from this, and that's probably going to be more efficient as well. Let's have a look. So lead plates can be made from three crushed rubite makes one lead plate, or I can go from molten lead, which comes from lead ingots at 10 to 1, uh, so that's, yeah, each ingot gets turned into one plate, and 24 lead ore get turned into a lead ingot, four rubite get turned into two lead ore, so it's, yeah, it's going to use two rubite to get to make you can use two ru rubite per lead, two rubite per lead plate instead of three rubite per lead plate. So it's, it's slightly more efficient. And we also get a, a load of nickel out of it as well. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this, apart from sh 
sho oh, I'm shoving it in a warehouse. Okay, great. <laughs> is that not what this is then? What's this blue stuff that's coming from here? I can't tell. I is that the same? Is that a different? That's a different shade. I think that's a different shade of greeny blue. <laughs> um, let's pick some up and have a look at it. That's this one. Is that zinc, not nickel? Okay, right. So I have nickel waiting for me when I need it. That that when is not yet. What I want to do though is if I if I mark this whole area for destruction like that, uh, not you, not you, then those machine those belts will stop running. So I'll use so the lead I end up using will be lead from this eventually, but I need to get that set up up here instead as well. So that's another thing. I'm going to write that down on the list. Um, lead from ingot. Make sure I make sure I make it in the uh, in the correct way so, so, uh, so that I get the um, the sweet sweet sulfur dioxide gas. Now where was I? Ah uh, yes, I sort of remember batteries. Now I was talking about expanding this production here outwards because I think. I may want electric motors for other stuff as well, so I don't really want to just limit that too much. So, and I'm going to want batteries as well for other things. Hmm. Okay. What if? Other way. That way. What if I bring all of those ingredients across here, and then do a building of the stuff over this side somewhere? That seems reasonable. So plastic and lead. Let's get these. Back. Yeah. Yeah, so if I do that, now I want this there, and I want this one there, so that I can do that and have it half on, have it on one on each side of the belt, like that. Yep, perfect. I mean, it looks a bit weird, but <laughs> it'll work. And then let's go under this whole thing in case I want to expand it. Okay, let's not. Do it the other way around if necessary. And then I need the sulfuric acid over here as well. Can I jump all the way to there? No, I can't. So I'll bring it across. Here instead. A little bit of fun with pipes, there we go. Now I have a feeling I'm going to be making the logistics bots version of these over here as well. So I'm going to extend this a bit further, make my batteries way out here. How do I make batteries? In a chemical plant, okay. It's easy enough, I think I've got a load of them. No, not. Okay, maybe we've got some in here. So I know I'm making them somewhere in the base. I just seem to have run out. Those ones, nice gas for chemical plant. Excellent. That's a nice simple design, actually. That's quite pleasing. <laughs> now the tricky bit of getting it. Actually, no, it's not, it's not too difficult. I just need to um, put them in on the on this side of the belt. There's so many belts in this game. Right. If I hook this up now, there we go. Spitting out batteries. Excellent. Let's do this on um, near side of belt for some of them. There we go. And I'm carrying a load of rubbish around. Let's get rid of some of that. Uh, some of those. Don't need this grey stuff, I'm sure. Oh, I do need burners, actually. Uh, how do I end up carrying so much rubbish around with me? There we go, that's a bit better. Right, so that's a nice supply of batteries coming out there. Now, I think I've got everything I need to build these robot things. So we use the batteries and the... Oh, okay. I need them... Again. It's going to be the basic electronics boards I need there. So let's split that. This is how I end up with so much stuff in my inventory. <laughs> um, those ones. This is a mess already. And s steel as well. I think I decided I was going to put these onto the bus. So let's put that west of steel was up here. And also. So let's see if I can do. Underneath there, under there. Okay, that's the four components for a flying robot frame, I think it's called. A couple of machines building those. That one. Yep, that looks good. And where are my robot <coughs> robot brains? Up here. Okay, so if I have this belt join this belt down here, then I can have this build construction robots. There we go. And I need robot ports as well, of course. How do I make robot ports? This is no doubt going to be extremely complicated. Yes, that's with a bajillion different components as well. Okay. <laughs> what are these all made from? Okay, that's basically iron, steel, and red 
red plates. That's not too uh, red circuits. That's not too bad. I can manage that. Iron and steel I have here. Red circuits I have here. Okay. I'm making some horrible spaghetti here. This is disgraceful. You'd think by now I'd have learnt to um, actually plan my builds a little bit ahead of time, wouldn't you? But no, nah, I'm just throwing stuff down and seeing what sticks. Making the robot port takes antenna hatch, charging pad, and steel. That uh, oh, I need copper as well. Could have gone the other way, I suppose. That'd probably been cheaper. And that was oh, I don't know. Those one of them? Yes. I'm going to put the robot port here because otherwise I've lost made myself into a corner. You said, what if I could find it? Oh, I haven't actually researched it yet. <laughs> Let's do that. And that requires steel as well. And then hatch door and charging pad. Let's do that one here because it's easy. And this one here because it's harder. And that requires, where are they? That, them. And then, okay. I think that should make robot ports. Uh, once I've trained it, of course. <laughs> At the moment, it doesn't know what a robot port is because I haven't researched them. But I'll do that in a moment. There we go. That's the research done. Robo port. Yeah. You don't look happy. Why are you not run? Oh, you're you're. Ah, I haven't put an insert in there. There we go. <laughs> I haven't put an insert in there. <laughs> right. Good. Now it's running. So I can put my nice shiny new robo port here. No. Here. And load it from this. No, that's wrong as well. <laughs> I need to put it, I want to put it a bit further down, then I can load it from both of those machines at the same time. I've lost it. There it is. So my plan is there to be another one here that builds logistics bots. That requires the other brains and things, of course, but uh, we'll get there. We now have a RoboPort. My first, very first RoboPort. <laughs> now I just need to spread these out around the entire map to cover the... well, cover everywhere. How difficult are Mark II RoboPorts? That's uh, an important question. So that's these ones. Aluminium, pad 2, which is invar, brass. <laughs> right, okay, they're quite a bit more complicated. Um, <laughs> and I kind of want them because they'll be much, much bigger catchment area, coverage areas, so I'll be able to just slap down, slap them down over a much, much bigger area much, much more quickly. But, oh, they require a bajillion different resources. <laughs> and at the moment, I think I'm just going to pass on that. How are these doing? Where are my limiting factors down here? Am I actually limited by how fast this is producing cogs? Yes. Huh. That sort of feels like an odd thing to be limited by. That's going flat out. In fact, that isn't going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It tells me that it's running basically as fast as it... it this, is, this is the limiting factor. So to get that any faster, I'd need to put in another another cog machine or two. I mean, I can do that. Not a problem. Uh, those should have been long-handled. And that probably needs to be a stack inserter. Right, my engine machines are... Um, Currently running flat out. Are they the same amount of time? 12 seconds to make one, and 10 seconds to make one. Okay, so they're pretty close. But I'm going to need, if I'm going to want to produce engines any faster, I'm going to need more of that. What are you limited by? Those, okay. Alright, that seems to be reasonably okay. While I'm at it, I'm going to also build up logistics bots, I think, because there's no point in having... Well, I'm not going to say there's no point in having one and not the other, but they are far more valuable when you have them, when you have both of them. So I need logistic robot brains and tools, which is that one. As predicted, that's pretty similar to this one. <laughs> and the tool one is steel gear and steel plate. Okay, that's not too bad. I can manage that. I've got steel knocking around up here. In fact, it's exactly the same as that one. It's just a different flavour of it. I don't know why I've got three of these. <laughs> it's, it's a bit excessive. How have I run out of solder? Oh, it's all getting used up by the red circuit production. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm going to be going back and filling in a lot of bottlenecks, I can tell. Or speeding up a lot of bottlenecks. Easy. Right. Done. Apart from the, the brains that aren't getting made because I don't have enough solder. So let's go and have a look at that now. See if there's something nice and obvious I can do to boost the production. Because it seems at the moment... I've, yeah, it looks like I've specced it perfectly for the amount of um, red circuits I'm making. What's that? A casting machine. Do I have any casting machines? Is there a, if only there was a search function. Um, they'll be down here somewhere. Very simpler. Casting machine, excellent. Is there any reason not to nearside these? No, it doesn't matter. There we go. Throughput doubled. <laughs> and this is producing... 
240 every 4 seconds, assuming the, there's enough on the inputs, and this is using 80 every, sorry, 40 every 4 seconds. So yeah, that's more than enough to keep that running. Oh, I am doing near side. I should turn that off before I get confused. Right. Twice as much solder being made, so some of it should make it down here. Get turned into these brains. There we go, there's one coming out already. Now I think this is going to be much, much faster than these are. Um, actually, the limiting factor on how, how fast these get used is how fast I can produce the um, the robot, um, the flying robot uh, main, main body assembly chassis, chassis, whatever you want to call them. To my next trick, I suppose, is going to be going out and laying all of these robo ports. That's going to be quite a big job, I suspect. Trying to get a decent level of coverage. Because what I want to get, what I want to do, is replace all of the chests, the iron, typically iron chests, around the base that are getting filled up with useful stuff that I'm making. I want to replace all of those with logistics chests, because that means I can then start requesting things from anywhere in the base, and they'll just get brought to me. And I can do the same for building things as well. I can make a request for something to be built, and the bots will go off and get the parts I need for it, come flying over and um, and build whatever it is. That'll do for now. Okay, so we've got a nice strip up the middle here that's all connected into one robo zone. I'm going to need to extend that out this way as well, I suspect. So there's probably going to be some stuff I want down. Probably no further than... Maybe not, actually. Do I need to go up any further? Yes, I need to get these um, pylons. That's pretty much it. How much lead have we used up? So, ooh, quite, um, yeah, a reasonable chunk, actually. I should probably, yeah, I should get that. Wow, actually, no, we need loads. Wow. Yep, I should get that up and running. How's the um, this supply going? Nearly used up. Okay. So, yeah, I definitely need to get that working as a closed system again. Or as a, no, as a, um, need to get get it producing everything I need again. Where were those? There were the pylons up there. Did I cover them? Not quite. I don't know what that robo chest does. Uh, let's ignore it for now. Okay, so I've got storage, requester, and provider. That's good. They're quite expensive to make. I'm sure in um, vanilla they're a, a lot cheaper than that. But never mind. I can um, I can get something churning about. That's not a problem. So if I had a... So what I can do... Let's demonstrate the power of robots here. If I bring these over here... It's only really construction zone I need for this. Uh, there's no power out here, of course. But I can fix that. There we go. If I put one of them... There and there, like that. <clears throat> and then I put down a couple of um, storage chests like this. We should get a flood, and by flood I mean about the five I've created so far. But here we go. Here come some of these construction bots that I've been building down here, all buzzing up to uh, to come and start demolishing the, that, that um, this foundry area for me. So the bots are going to come up and, and, and eat, pick all this stuff up, dump it in these chests here. In fact, in order to speed this up a bit, do I have... No, I don't have any of the other sort of the old-style construction bots because they're all in the uh, in the construction vehicle because that's a sensible place to keep them. And for some reason, I didn't... As ever, I just didn't think of bringing the construction vehicle up with me. There are some being built um, here. I don't need that anymore because I've got better construction bots. But what I can do for now... Uh oh, I'm under attack. It's getting attacked. And where and why and Oh, right, okay. Ooh, it's a lot of deads. I wonder why that suddenly got overwhelmed. Um where are my plasma turrets? What did I actually lose? Some walls and a turret, okay. So that plasma turret there has been beating up all of those over there and they finally squeezed past. So I just need another plasma turret over here. That's not too bad. Interesting. Those oh, I've put them in the wrong place, that's why. <laughs> Let's put them in here instead. There we go. These low-powered, these low-speed ones will also come in and help um, because I haven't got very many of the good ones yet. I wonder how far they've got up so far. Yeah, they're all down here trying to recharge their batteries on the on the long journey up. Even the um, the new advanced construction bots aren't actually that great. <laughs> they're probably going to be better than these ones, but uh, not as much as I'd like them to be better. Anyway. Yes, I need to go and deal with that um, biter incursion. So I've got some plasma turrets, that's good. Got a car. Got some fuel for it. OK. 
Can I get th can I can I get through? Yes, there's a gap. And I think it's up here that it's all going a bit dodgy. Eventually I'll get the entire base covered by um these covered by Roboport, so whenever I drive into something a bottle flit over and repair it for me. <laughs> now is not that time. Okay, so I want to have a couple more plasma turrets in here guarding this area because this is apparently a busy flank. I mean, what I should really do, of course, at this point, is, is I should go out and destroy this base, because that's where all the attacks are... I was going to say that's where all the attacks are coming from. It's not, because these are colourful ones, so they're not coming from there. They're coming from over here. And that's all maybe here? No, there's this one. Yeah, I probably should go out and take out both of them. But for now, this will have to do. Where's, where's the wall that got damaged? Do I have any repair? Yes. I've run out of walls. Right. That seems to be basically sorted now. Let's, um... Up some spoils of war while we're here. Since there's so much of it available for me. Oop, I've got their attention. No, run away. Run away. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh no, that's scary. Oh, well, for goodness sake. <laughs> I got cocky. I tried to shoot the, um, I tried to shoot the big bite that was coming in to get me. <clears throat> rather than just run away and let the plasma turrets deal with it. So, of course, I got caught in splash damage from the plasma turrets. <laughs> That felt pretty stupid. But then friendly fire always does feel pretty stupid, I have to admit. On the plus side, for once, I may have died, but I didn't get my car destroyed in the process, so I can just come back over here and reclaim everything. Find my uh, box to put another pistol of shame into. Nope, it spotted me again. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't go out there, that's just tempting fate a bit too much. <laughs> Even if that massive pile of spoils is very, very tempting. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes, I was ripping up the... Um, the lead refinery in order to replace it with something a bit more modern. How's that getting on? Well, there's a horde of hungry, hungry bots over here, all um, pulling up the... Where are they all going? Oh, off to charge somewhere else. What? Have I pulled up a power cable? I didn't mean to. I think I did. There must have been... Yeah, the power for this area must have been coming in from, um, from around here somewhere. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so how do we turn lead ingots into lead plates? Melt it in an induction furnace, and, and then use a casting machine to turn it into plates. Induction furnace, casting machine. Okay, what are my numbers for that? So ingots, like 120 every 4 seconds. Am I using Mark 1s for this? I'm using Mark 1 casting machines. Probably using Mark 1 induction furnaces. Yes. Yes. Okay, so it takes 4 seconds to make 120. And then four seconds, so I need three three casting machines off each induction machine. I don't have induction machines, of course. I need to drive down and get my construction vehicle because it's storing all my stuff. Oh, there's no way through. <laughs> Notice how the um, the bots are flying off to go and start helping up up further up north as soon as they're uh, as soon as they're built. That's what I like to see. Proactive bots, excellent. So the theory is, once you've got enough bots, they just get spread out reasonably well around the base, so you don't have to worry, wait too long for bots to come flying in for anything you want them for, because there's probably some reasonably nearby. Here we go, this is the way through on this side of it all. <laughs> What's supposed to be happening? Is this iron? Yeesh, I am not making iron anything like fast enough. Oh dear. Right, so I need the... Uh, induction furnaces, these ones. Let's say probably two for now. We'll see how it goes. How did I do this before? I did one like that, one like that, one like that, I think. And a pipe round there. And then the same again. Wait, there's no way for that. Oh, no. <laughs> Who designed this? Those probably really constrained my design before when I was doing this. <laughs> Last time I was doing this. I should redesign the steel as well. Um, I think I can turn iron ingots and probably something else into steel. But I'll need to have a go and think about that. I, I just don't know where all this stuff comes from sometimes. I remember picking some of it up, but... Oh, where's it trying to build a steel furnace? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I've cut off the power again. Right, I want you to make lead. Lead. I want you to make lead plates. Lead plates. Let's see what sort of rate these come out of, whether it's fast enough. Uh, from previous experience, we know from down here that having four uh, blast, eight induction furnaces, jeez, um, eight induction furnaces 
essentially fills one belt. At least it does when you've got any input whatsoever. Why is this frozen up? What is going on here? Uh-oh. <laughs> no wonder I'm short of iron. Oh, no. I don't know why that's died. Oh, is that full? I'll have a look in a minute. <laughs> From that, it requires eight to absolutely fill a thing. Right, looking at this... The problem at the moment appears to be the how quickly I can get this. How quickly the um, the lead resource is coming through. Do these actually require... They do require fuel. Interesting. So it's how fast the, the lead is coming through on out of the um, dubery. What are these? Oh, filter inserters. Okay. Hmm. So, well, lead is being produced. The big question is, is it being produced faster than it's being used? Uh, mm, yes. Slightly. But only slightly. Okay. I'm going to need to increase lead production at some point. Presumably that means the other... Oh no, it's not gone all the way down. So lead is being pulled from both sides of the belt at the moment. That's interesting. Oh, this is backed up, so that's no longer demanding lead in the same sort of quantities. Okay, that probably means we're all right. I'm going to leave this for now, and probably have to expand it later, but for now that's all right. At the moment, I feel like I have more pressing issues. Um, specifically, why all my important metal everythingeries appear to have stopped. Because if the base runs out of iron, and copper as well for that matter, we have problems. So I'm going to abandon all my bots, just like that. <laughs> They'll catch up in a couple of days, maybe longer. And then come down here and have a good look and try and work out what on earth is going on with the, um, with the iron system. So my first glance told me that the problem, well a problem, is that the crushed stone is backed up. Now that's <laughs> unexpected to say the least. Let's leave that there. Okay, so crushed stone is backed up because something here isn't pulling its weight. Oh, it's this. I've not got any coal here. Why is there no coal on this belt? Why is there no coal on this belt? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> so that, that one underground belt was the wrong way around. I must have reversed it at some point by mistake. And so all this, co all the coal had been stopped. The coal supply down here had, was gone. So this wasn't coming along here. So I wasn't making any filters here, which meant that this wasn't able to filter the, filter the um, sludge coming through here to make it into the useful um, mineral sludge. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> right, okay, this will get that up and running again which means that these start running again, and these will start running again eventually. What a ridiculous thing to go wrong. Yeah, let's use that up properly. The whole point of this is to prioritise from here. Never ever use that one if I can avoid it. There we go. Catalyst being made nice and quickly. Crush stone being pumped through. Fuvalite and sapphirite going in there. Iron products coming through here, and going into all of these again. Phew! That's kind of scary, actually. It shows that the system is a bit, is really rather fragile, and that this one little thing failed. The coal didn't make it over here, and then this entire factory shut down with basically no warning, apart from the fact that everywhere ran out of iron. And now we've got this almost one yellow belt coming through here. And this is the thing I was talking about, saying I needed to expand. So, I should look at the numbers here. So as we can see, we need 20 of these, 20 of these, which I've got, yeah. Then 40 of these, which I clearly haven't got. That's moving quite quickly, oh I see. Yeah, I'm. it is moving quite quickly, but I'm only using a tiny amount of the capacity here. I'm using, what, four out of 20, right, okay. So it's basically just, need, it's a, I need more belts situation here to get this running faster. Or, you know, I could just use this one as well. So I could have another one of these systems down the bottom. That's probably easy enough to do, actually. I might need to do some funny business with these pipes. I wonder what the flow rate through those is. I don't know how you tell. And maybe these as well. Or I could just put it right down here. That might be easier. I don't only have to worry about the pipes. How far over did I get? No, I haven't got the um, construction... Uh, bots over here yet, so I'll really have to use the um, construction vehicle, I think, for this. That's not a problem. 
It's not far away. And it's got all the stuff I need in it already, I expect. I if there's bots, of course, up yet. I don't see them. I'll have to have a look in a second. I can't remember if they go into the vehicle's normal inventory. I think they probably do. Yeah, the bots haven't caught up yet. Where are they? So they're coming from... Oh, no, no, those are the extra ones I had to bring. Oh, here they are. <laughs> oh, they're not too far away. All right, by the time I've faffed around with blueprints and things, they'll probably be about here. Okay, so I want to copy this from there. I want to put it in here, except I can't. I'll come back and... Yeah, I'll put one in there eventually. I just need to tweak the um, thing. So I can put the third one in here, like that. So I can go in and remove the pipes. And do it again. Go. Oh, I don't need these pipes. Okay, so what have we got in the... How does this work? We have an input of pellets and limestone. And we have a belt of coke, I think it is. It's yellow. That... Okay, that just runs down. Oh, I've um, moved everything across one. Let's not do that. Let's get rid of that and actually have everything. And let's line them up, you know, for, for neatness sake. So that will go not there, but there. So then we have that. Oops. <laughs> uh, turns out I was in map mode. <laughs> that. And the other input is a red belt consisting of pellets. Let's the side belt these ones. Oh, no, 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 no. Fail. I should probably also, while I'm at it, near side half of these. Okay, so this red belt isn't quite fast enough, but that's that's fine. That's not an issue. Um, we've got enough coming through from here. So what I need to do is put in a red splitter, which I don't have. Not from there. Yes. That. Okay, so this one will feed the intermediate system that I haven't actually built yet. So put that there for now. Have another splitter in there. Now we do much the same thing down here. That means I need to upgrade this to a red red belt and split it. And split that one. There we go. That just be down. But we now need to link this up to here. And I'm not carrying sure enough belts for it. Uh, more. More, 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 more. There we go. That should be enough. Boosh. And as always, I need to think about power. Click. And because of where this is, I don't actually want it to feed downwards. Output should flow upwards like this. There. And with that, we have now hopefully doubled the iron output of the base. The big question is how is all the rest of the inputs keeping up with that? Um, I think the answer should be quite well. It shouldn't give it any problems. So now let's have a look. These are obviously quite happy because they're designed to fill what is 120? 1, 2, 3, 3, 12. Okay, so yeah, these are easy. These are intended to fill five of these modules in total to give me the 120 a second. I'm going to go for f probably four because simplicity. So I put a second one in there and then a fourth one in there eventually when I need them. Um, but at the moment, I mean, it's. It's fine. It's 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 working. I don't need to um, I don't need to fiddle with it at all. <laughs> um, these all these inputs should be absolutely fine with that. It's just whether all, all these sort of earlier stages, sorry, should be absolutely fine with that. The big question is whether I'm pumping out enough of the the inputs, should we say? So these should be okay. They're just being unloaded out of warehouses that have twenty thousand, fifteen thousand, uh, twelve, uh, thirteen thousand in them. That's okay, and they're not going particularly hard. The limestone, well, it it remains to be seen, to be honest. How well the um, this, this is, oh, here's some more being brought in. That seems to be okay then. Good. The this thing making the catalysts. Um, I do seem to have quite a lot of crushed stone at the moment, although a lot of that is coming from this station. I need to build a system that analyzes how much catalyst I have and uses the whole system appropriately. So this is being used up here as fast as it's being generated. But that is at least partly... Hmm. Yeah, it's getting topped up by this system here that doesn't require a catalyst. And that's limited by the amount of sapphirite flowing in down here. This system would be able to pump out enough if there was enough catalyst coming through. There isn't enough catalyst coming through and that's giving it problems. This isn't running at 100... Well, it is running at 100% capacity because all this sapphire coming in is getting crushed. Okay. 
but it could be running higher actually. If I if I go in there and I um, belt balance the sapphires here, I can remember how. There we go, like that. Oh wait, that's not going to help because <laughs> it's still using it only coming from this side. Okay, that's not going to make a difference. What I was intending to do here was stop this running constantly and just pull the sapphire from from this one. Hmm. Well, I mean, it, it is it is keeping up. There is a backlog here, so I think I'll just not worry about it. Uh, how's the copper doing? Similarly, there's a fair amount coming in here. It's not backed up. It is getting used as fast as it's coming through. But these are filling up quite quickly. So I'm producing it faster than I'm using it. But the speed of production is, is a bit low because it's reliant on the catalysts that aren't being, to be frank, aren't being produced as quickly as I'd like. Um, oh, that's crushed cretinium. I just can't tell the difference. I can't tell the difference on here between the cretinium and the, um, and the crushed stone. I wonder if that's the... Have I still got those icon packs? That's good. Um, where's my train of thought? Yeah, oh yes. So the copper is running is running fast enough. It's... The, it's I'm not producing enough um, catalyst in order to have this running flat out, but I'm also not using the copper up fast enough for that to, act, for that to be a problem. The iron is the, is the um, limiting factor at this point in the game, um, as is generally the case at this sort of stage of the game I think. These are, well I don't know, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on it, an eye on it, uh, um, and see. Okay this is definitely healthier, there's another load of iron about to come in and this lot hasn't been all swallowed up yet so yeah I think we are much much better off than we were before. I think I'm going to call this an episode at this point, it's because I've, I've done quite a lot today I feel. So what have I done, let's see, I've got these I've got this system here, building batteries that I'm going to put onto the bus eventually, because I'm sure I'm going to need them elsewhere, for things like um, uh, solar panels, if nothing else. Uh, no, no, accumulators, sorry, if nothing else. Although, I suppose, given that I'm cheating and playing on always day, I don't really need don't really need the accumulators, but maybe I'll switch that off at some point. <laughs> maybe. Ah, red circuit production is a serious problem. Why is red circuit production? What was... Why is this broken? I haven't got any of these boards coming through because I don't know. Are they supposed to be picking something up from here? Yes, they're supposed to be picking up these wooden... No, 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 no they're not. It's liquid? Ferric chloride solution I've, I've run out of because... Oh, because I've filled up completely on the... Um, uh, whichever salt it is I'm outputting here, I forget. Uh, which I was thinking I needed more of, but... To be honest, that only gets used by research packs over here at the moment. Mm, so, did I build up? Yes, I built. <laughs> oh, no, that's that's really stupid. Okay, so I built up the um, this system here, which has more of these, producing these faster, and then venting here. That's really really stupid <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, the um. The venting has meant that I built up so much of this that I now can't produce any. Oh no. Okay, that's something to fix next time. I think I'll I'll, I'll save it till then um, because that's a particularly stupid thing, and I'm going to need to think quite hard about how to how to balance this. I'm going to need to have inputs and measuring, oh how much is in this box, I guess, to decide whether to run these these flare stacks. If the box is empty, run the flare stacks. If there's anything in the box, don't run the flare stacks. I think that should be manageable. Right, so where was I? Yes, I got this system down here, building up my um, robo stuff. So that's good. It's a good start. Um, even if I then immediately wanted the next tier up, because these, these are relatively short range given the size of my base. I then ripped out this lead processing facility up here and replaced it with this one, which has caught up. That's good because this is this is more efficient and produces the sulfur dioxide that I need to make sulfuric acid, uh, which I have some of. I think that's slightly more than I had before, so it is getting used at an acceptable rate. I wonder if I've made any more sulfur down here. Probably not. 
because I've probably not used enough plastic yet for another plastic train to be demanded. <laughs> but I have used a bit for the robots and things. Then I... So I did that. Sort of things out up here. Then realised iron production was tragic. Fixed that. And then um, added in some more down here. So I've doubled my iron production. And I may, I may, I may well um, add another two of these facilities in. And uh, so quadrupled it from earlier. Although these belts are kind of full, so I, I don't know. Well, I, oh, I could run, I could run more belts in and use the other three inserters on each side. That's uh, that's that's doable. So yes, um, good. I think that's been. I feel like I've uh, I've, I've accomplished something. Uh, a lot of that was making bots, admittedly, but uh, that is still something that is worth doing and. Um, has been something that I've been aiming for for quite a long time, getting all the, the bots and the robots up and running. So I'm, I'm glad I've done that, even if quite a few of them are currently going to be running on the slow bots, because, well, that's just what I had available. Okay, so what shall I do next time? The first thing is obviously going to be getting the all of this, um, these red circuit, this red circuit production over here back up and running again properly, because that's kind of tragic. Um, <laughs> so I've done bots. I think the next thing after that, and I've done lube... Uh, I was talking about doing basic circuits up to a higher volume because I was worried that I wasn't going to be producing enough of them. That doesn't appear to be the case. This tiny little factory up here seems to actually be keeping up, so let's leave that alone for now because it doesn't seem to be too much of a worry. I've sorted out the iron supply, as that was on the list. Lead from ingots I've just done, so I can cross that off as well. Wow, this has been productive. So the next things on my list was the only re thing really remaining on my list of things to do is uh, stack inserters too for, for loading and unloading trains quicker, and that means producing different types of metals and things like cobalt and and whatnot. And in order to do that, I was planning to run um, some more stuff off the bottom of here and start floating and investigating these these um, crushed ores. I think that's the order you do things in. I'll have to I'll have to check into that just to make sure I get this in, get 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 all of this right, and that's going to mean a bit of um, thinking and poking and stuff to make sure I use everything in the right sort of proportions in the right sort of order. There's plenty of space to expand into down here to get that to do that. So I think that should um, that should work out quite nicely, and uh, yeah, I think that'll be a nice project for the next episode. I hope you'll join me for that, and uh, yeah, I'll see you then when we start messing around with that instead. Thanks for watching.